often called ground source heat pumps or geo exchange, geothermal systems have been available for decades. For many, a technical word like geothermal can be somewhat intimidating, yet geo simply means of the earth and thermal has to do with heat. Geothermal systems include a heat pump that uses the heat as a heat source and heat sink. This mechanical device is used for heating and cooling. In the heating mode, it operates by pumping heat from a cool to a warm location. In the cooling mode, the earth is utilized to receive the heat rejected from the heat pump. Geothermal is a highly energy efficient renewable energy technology that is gaining wide acceptance for both residential and commercial buildings. The first geothermal heat pump system in the United States was installed in the Commonwealth Building in downtown Portland, Oregon in 1948. This extremely successful and highly publicized project led to numerous installations throughout the Northwest and eventually the entire United States. Residential and commercial geothermal heat pump systems first gained moderate popularity in the United States as early as the 1940s and early 1950s. Widespread acceptance of the technology by architectural and engineering design teams, developers, and builders has been extremely slow. However, renewed interest in residential and commercial geothermal heat pump systems has once again been on the rise, primarily due to rising energy rates. The technology relies on the fact that the temperature beneath the Earth's surface remains relatively constant throughout the year. It's warmer than the air above during the winter and cooler in the summer, very much like a cave. The geothermal heat pump takes advantage of this by transferring heat stored in the earth into a building during the winter and transferring it out of that building and back into the ground during the summer. In other words, the ground acts as a heat source in winter and a heat sink or storage facility in the summer. Although a geothermal system can cost more than conventional systems, several factors are available for additional consideration very high quality equipment and installation, energy efficiency, long-term cost savings, improved home comfort, environmental considerations, compatibility with building design or retrofit requirements, utility incentives, reduced space for mechanical equipment, no outdoor equipment noise, life cycle cost savings, and free hot water from exhaust BTUs. Most geothermal systems are closed loop. Closed loop systems consist of two parallel high density polyethylene conduits joined by a one piece U-bend fitting. This closed loop system is filled with a combination of water and methanol alcohol. This makes the loop impervious to dirt, underground water, or freezing. When the unit is operating, fluid is continuously pumping through each loop in the system. When the heat pump is set in the cooling mode, exhaust heat is transferred into the loops and pumped deep into the ground. Since the average ground temperature is 55 degrees, the fluid will cool throughout its continuous round trip. Conversely, when the system is set on the heat mode, heat is extracted from the loops and warmed as it moves throughout the loops. The loops can be installed in a horizontal or vertical fashion. Occasionally, lakes or ponds are utilized as the heat sink medium. Closed loops are simply lowered and secured to the bottom of the lake. The most common medium is the vertical loop. A truck mounted rotary digging rig is brought to the job site. During setup, the unit is leveled to assure a plumb hole is dug. A four and a half inch wing or cone bit is utilized to start the casing hole. After drilling four to six feet, the cone bit is removed, then a PVC pipe casing is pressed into the hole. Setting this casing stabilizes the ground and prevents surface cave-in from occurring. Then a carbide tipped hammer bit is installed for the remaining drilling process. This bit normally can drill 3 to 10 holes. Sections of drilling pipe are normally 15 to 20 feet long. The process of adding a section of pipe while drilling is called tripping in the hole. Likewise, the process while removing the pipe is called tripping out the hole. A pipe collar is used during the tripping out process to prevent the remaining sections of pipe from falling to the bottom of the hole. The Murphy Fast Plug was invented by Captain Lee Murphy, Corps of Engineers, United States Army retired, to facilitate the extraction of drill pipe tripping out 
from the well hole in an expedited manner. His primary objective was to find a way to help develop efficiencies and lower costs for the contractor. Since 1953, the Murphy Fast Plug has helped worldwide drilling companies save time and money. The average hole depth for geothermal installation is 200 feet. If that depth cannot be reached, the exposed pipe must be buried in the header ditch or additional loops may be required. The three-quarter inch geothermal loops and one-piece U-bend fitting are constructed of high-density polyethylene plastic. The U-bend fitting is fused at the factory to eliminate the time-consuming job of on-site fusing. Loops are factory tested for quality assurance and come with a long-term warranty. Loops are pre-filled with water. The water creates the extra weight and gravity to install the loop 200 feet below the surface of the ground. A recipe of four to five bags of Benonite, Easy Mud, and water backfill the loophole after installation. Easy Mud prevents expansion of the Benonite until it's pumped into the hole. The backfilling component creates the necessary heat and cold conduction transfer required by the geothermal process. A fusion tool is required to fuse the geothermal pipes together. This tool heats to temperatures of 500 to 525 degrees for proper fusing. Each loop has a fluid in and out pipe. Header in and out manifold pipes create a reverse return system that allow each loop to have approximately the same rate of water flow. A purge cart unit is installed to purge all air from the loops. This process typically takes 8 to 10 hours. Methanol alcohol is added during the purging process. Methanol has a relatively high heat transfer coefficient and a very low freezing point. The entire loop system must pass a pressure test before the header ditch is filled in. Once the pressure test is complete, the loops are gently formed and backfilled in the header ditch to prevent pinches or kinks. Any big rocks must be removed from the header ditch before backfilling. Each loop well and header ditch are carefully marked, mapped, and photographed for future reference. Conventional ductwork is generally used to distribute heated or cooled air from the geothermal heat pump throughout the building. In addition to space conditioning, geothermal heat pumps can be used to provide domestic hot water when the system is operating. Many residential systems are now equipped with de-superheaters that transfer excess heat from the geothermal heat pump's compressor to the house's hot water tank. During the warm summer months, the owner essentially gets free hot water from this de-superheater. Geothermal heat pump systems are an increasingly attractive option for residential and commercial buildings. Based on over 50 years of operating experience, it is safe to say that any earlier concerns over long-term reliability, operation, and maintenance costs were, to a large extent, unfounded. Increased knowledge of heat transfer, advancements in equipment, installation techniques, and control systems continue to improve. Thus, geothermal heat pump technology can be tailored to fit almost any possible building need. For more information, contact your local electric cooperative.